everyone it's so good and exciting to be here always to give you trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings uh, in nigeria and you know what the apc is facing big trouble in the uh, ondo state don't forget that the ondo state election is coming forth in october this year and uh, you know the both the apc and the pdp has actually had their primaries and uh, they have their candidates ready for the election but there's a big concern that the apc is actually facing because of the candidates that emerged in the pdp that is a uh, jagged and uh, you know there's a lot about him that you are yet to know about and the concern that apc is so worried about anyway guys before i bring you details of that please ensure you hit the subscribe button immediately and also give this video a thumbs up okay without wasting much of your time let us dive right into the details of this report as it says that uh, the primary election of the people's democratic party pdp in ondo state has been concluded and a winner has emerged after the keenly contested primary a former attorney general of the est of the state a yitayo jegede emerged winner of the exercise and will confront oluwarotimi akiro dolu who is the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, and there are early signs again that the Ondo governorship election will be as fierce as the Edo state election is expected to be. This was buttressed by what Jagede said after his victory in the primary, which should give the APC serious concerns ahead of the election. Jagede boldly stated that the end of the APC in Ondo state has come with his emergence as the PDP governorship candidate of the pdp in the coming election when jagede said that he sounded very confident of what he said he did not sound like he was speculating but how sure can jagede be and how sure can victory be for jagede anyway jagede may have his reasons for making such daring declaration for a start many had hoped that the deputy governor of ondo state agbola ajayi would have won the pdp primary election and be the one to slug it out with his boss Akiru Dolu in the main election, but what? But that did not happen. Instead, Jagede pulled a surprise by defeating Ajayi and other aspirants. Jagede got 888 votes, and while Ajayi got 657 votes in the primary, others got votes way below the numbers. So Jagede won the primary convincingly. Apart from the above point, Jagede gave more reasons why he was confident of dislodging the ruling APC in the main election. He stated that with the full backing of the PDP, he would ensure that the APC is sacked. He added that with the support of his core aspirants in the primary, he would achieve victory in the election. That means that Jagede is confident of getting the backing of his core aspirants if they actually support him as it seemed to be to have suggested, then it means that the PDP is going into the election as a united house and that would help the party to win. Additionally, Jagede said that he dictated his victory in the primary to the people of Ondo state and his co-aspirants. He further said that with the support of the Ondo people, he would make good his promise of bringing an end to the, to the reign of the APC in the state. So, Jagede meant that he was sure that many of the Ondo voters will vote for him in the main election with their support and those of his party and co aspirants. He was confident of beating Akira Dolu of the APC. Recall that Jagede contested against Akira Dolu in 2016 governorship election. He actually lost to Akira Dolu in that election. What would Jagede do differently this time to beat Akira Dolu of the APC? Well, maybe he is better prepared now than then. This is his second journey on the road to be the governor of the state. It is expected that he would have learned his, his earlier loss and do things better. Moreover, the PDP did not go into the pool as a united house in 2016. There were discontents and perceived injustice felt by some aspirants and their supporters they felt things were not done in a just manner regarding the primary election many of the aspirants saw jagede as the candidate of the of the then governor olushegu mimiko who was favored to emerge the party's candidate 
After all, Mimiko was fully in support of Jegede to ensure that he won. Moreover, Jegede was distracted by the lingering court case, which delayed him and his perceived godfather, Mimiko, in Abuja until a few days to the election. So they did not have enough time to, dis to focus on campaigns. But now things appear different. Jegede has enough time and seemed to have emerged in a fair primary that the other aspirant would back him. Will he actually bring an end to the APC reign by defeating Akiro Dolu in the election this time, or the main election on October 10, 2020, would sell as long as it's free and fair? And, you know, that is uh, uh, the hope of everyone thinking and hoping that... Um, election in nigeria should be free and fair and you know jagada is such a confident man and uh, he has actually spoken on uh, his journey because of course this is not his first time running for the position of uh, a governor he did it in 2016 and he lost to uh, rotimi akerodolu and uh, you know this time around he has decided to come back again and uh, run with him in the same time but he said something he said at that time he was distracted by so many court cases by his uh you know godfather that it is quite different from this present moment that you know he's free and very focused and he's very sure that he will bring victory to the people of uh, pdp and to his party and of course he said he hoped that the party will back him, not just the party, his co-aspirants that have lost to him in the primary, that they will support him. Because back then in 2016, he lost the prim he lost the election because the party was not together. So it is important for every party. If you want your party to win, your party should not be found wanting when it is time for election. It is not the time for your party to have issues like the APC is having now, but good, they are trying to resolve it every time. But, you know, it is always good that the party tries to, you know, settle any issues they have before any election because it will affect your candidate. So, like he was explaining that in 2016, his party lost and his party was not uh, uh, very much concentrating in that, in that election because of, you know, so many things surrounding it. the primary process there was so many injustice that some of the aspirants did not see or did not feel uh, comfortable with and it affected the general election so but this time around he's hopeful and he believes that his core aspirants will support him and the party should also support him support him and you know that uh Jekede is also uh a former Attorney General of, uh, you know, the state, uh, on those states back then. And, uh, you know, he believes so much that he is going to win this uh, Ondo election. And, you know, it seems uh, because of his confidence, uh, the election will begin to get tensed. Because, of course, it seems like the Ondo people are very relaxed, like there's no election, unlike that of the uh, Edo State. Edo State election is full of propaganda. There are so many issues surrounding it. Got for that regime and the likes, you know, court cases, certificate forgeries, and all of that, all of that. But here, right here in Ondo State, we've really not heard anything of such. Not like there are no propagandas, but, of course, they can be more gentle, I guess. I guess that's why we don't get much of these issues from that of uh, uh, on those states but all the same like uh, the conclusion of this report says that uh, we hope that this election will be free fair and credible and we hope that uh, elections in Nigeria will begin to be free fair and credible because in time past I think there's hardly a time that Nigeria have ever had a free, fair, and credible election. But sometimes it could be close to free, fair, and credible. But most times it is not free, fair, and credible. So guys, you know how it is. And uh, we hope that everything, all things being equal, let the best candidates win. Like I would always say, let the best candidates emerge and once the best emerges it helps the people it helps the leadership of that state it helps everyone to be together to be united and i hope that the best would actually emerge irrespective of the party that the party that the person is coming from so my dear people you've heard it 
from Ondo State. I appreciate you for your time here so far. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.